Hey guys, what's up? I am very happy to be finally bringing you another um, Xcode walkthrough, teaching you how to add a cool feature to your app to make it a little bit more awesome. After all this time, sorry guys, but you know, I've been very busy. And uh, after taking your, I, I thank you so much for the feedback that you gave me. A lot of you guys want one thing, um, and a lot of you guys want the other. Uh, so I decide I'm going to try to do both, keep them in separate playlists, so I try to make everyone happy. Although I probably will only get one to two videos a week because, you know, school and just life in general. Uh, also, tell me what type of videos uh, you want to see. I'll take all requests into account. I might not be yet able to physically get out all my requests um, instantly, but I will definitely take them into account. Um, also, I got, as you might or might not know, a new mic, so it's going to be better sound quality, as well as my friend gave me this new ScreenFlow recording software. Thank you so much. Um, so, it's going to give you way better quality, and I hope you enjoy. Uh, so, without further ado, further ado, sorry guys, um, today I'm going to be teaching you in-app messaging which goes hand in hand with in-app email. It, you make it in pretty much the same format as you would, well you code it in the same format as you would in-app email. So this is going to do, what it's going to be able to do is send text messages right from your app. So it's a really cool feature and it's the same framework uh, that the, um, well it's the same fr framework that the um, mail uses as well. Uh, I think this might, I haven't seen one of these videos on YouTube uh, on this particular uh, add-on thing, feature, whatever you want to call it. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Sorry for, I just want to clear up a few things. So, let's get started. Uh, single view application will be fine. We'll just call it in-app uh, text. And select automatic reference counting. If you don't have it checked off, or if you have an older version of Xcode, um, it's just one line of code difference, so don't worry. And then we'll click Next, and then we'll create it, save it to wherever you like. And um, we're going to jump into our frameworks here. We're going to select any framework and right-click it, and then click Show in Finder. And then we're going to just go and find the Message UI framework and drag it right in. Now, I want to show you something real quick. As you can see, if you click that and go into headers, you can see right under mail compose view controller .h, there's also message con view controller .h, and that has special, uh, you know, methods and stuff, which we will be using the delegate for to access those message met methods. Sorry, guys, can't talk. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna go into our .h and we're gonna import the framework so it knows what. It we're talking about the program and we're gonna choose the second uh, option with these I'm sorry guys I always forget what they they're called little greater than signs um, so we're gonna import message UI forward slash message UI UI dot H okay and it's imported if it typed it correctly it should have no errors and now after UI view controller we're gonna put in the delegate so we're gonna do MF message compose view controller delegate so we can use a custom method that will check whether the mail was sent or if it failed etc uh, etc et I'll show you we'll get to that later um, so now we just need one action for when we press the button and it'll open the composer so what we're gonna do is IB action whatever you want to call it so we'll just open text ID sender now we're gonna copy that uh, that's all we need in a dot H very simple and the code in the dot M is not that hard uh, we're just gonna copy that action instead of uh, instead of a semicolon we're gonna do open brackets and close them and inside of those brackets what we're gonna do is create the MF message composer controller object we'll just store it in we'll just call it composer and eh, let's just call it text composer equals bracket mf message composer a lock and we're gonna do in it as well now here we're gonna set the delegate 
So we're going to do text composer set message compose delegate self because that's where we're going to be sending the messages. Um, and now we are going to use an uh, if statement to check whether uh, the you can send the text if it's if you're able to send the text. So we're going to do if bracket mf message compose view controller can send text then statements in here so we're gonna open we're gonna set a few attributes we're gonna do text composer set uh, recipients and then we're gonna do an NS array so what we're gonna do is bracket NS array array with objects you could do object or objects in this case I'm just gonna do one object actually I'll just show you you could do one or more so let's select array with objects and then do add after that and then whatever number you like and then the second one whatever number you like again and then you can just keep adding and adding numbers and then for the last one you're going to do nil common nil now if you just want it one you could do just array with object and you can get creative with this maybe link it to a text field so the user could enter in the number and then press it and it would load whatever the user typed I don't know get creative uh, explore you know and next we're gonna set the message body so we're gonna do text composer set body NSS string and then we'll do hello world of course you can do whatever you like and set however you like um, now we just want to present the message composer so we're gonna do um, self present model view controller model view controller you have view controller which will be the text composer animated ES and then so that will check if the message view controller can send text it will open it and set these attributes and then we can do an else an else and then whatever you want in here maybe an alert view whatever you want I'm not gonna put anything in there actually I'll do an NS log to check so we can check in our log right here can't open text so we'll just do that um, and now we want to use our special void method so what we're gonna do is void message compose view controller and just click enter it'll fill it in for you and what this will do is we'll be able to check what the result was of our message we can check if it failed we can check if it's sent and uh, I believe we can check if we canceled it so what we're gonna do is a switch statement so we're gonna do switch result which is the result of what it finished with and we're gonna do three cases copy the case three times two three case so we can do case MF um, message sorry I don't know what I was doing there message compose result sent and then we'll just do a log NS log at sent of course you can do alert I don't know whatever you like again and then the next one we can do message compose result failed and then we'll do an NS log failed and then we'll do message compose result cancelled so if you canceled it then we'll do NS log at cancel so right there and right there so we're testing each one of these for what uh, the result will be and we'll have your code right in right inside of these and remember to end these cases with break so um, that's all the code we need and uh, let's jump into our view controller.xib of course you can make it whatever you like but I'm not gonna make it very fancy just put in a button and add some text we'll just do and then we'll go to file zoner and go to your connections drag open text to your button and click touch up inside and we're done now let's try and run it and see how it works and um, I just want to say it does not work on the uh, the simulator but it does work on the phone trust me you can try it uh, so we can click this and as you can see it 
did check and as it cannot open the message composer it says in our log can't open text uh, and it also displays a built-in alert that says cannot send message text messaging is not available but try it out on your phone I'm sorry I had to cut the video for a second but anyways that is how to make a add in-app messaging to your app so have fun do it with it add it to your apps uh, do whatever and I hope you enjoyed if you could share these uh, this video with people that would be amazing um, of course it helps more people learn and uh, helps me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers but I don't really mind all my subscribers are amazing as I only have 200 but that's a lot for me so thank you all and uh, I'll see you later